This standard is about the metabolic pathways and uh, something to uh, like recognize metabolic reminds of like metabolism. The metabolism say about how we get like it kind of has to do with like with energy that we get from stuff that we eat, or how, how like it's burned off at us. And what this standard says is. Um, how glucose, which we are all very familiar with already, is extracted from uh, like complex molecules that are in fats, proteins, and um, this saturates and polysaturates. And we all know, po uh, like an example of what this saturates, since we don't something something that's not heard is sucrose, and a polysaturate would be starch. The way that uh, the different ways that we get energy are from, let's say, from proteins. Proteins are uh, digested and into. Uh, I mean, they're digested into amino acids and are simple derivative compounds outside of the cell. Once the amino acids enter the cell, they are typically used for rebuilding other proteins. But amino acids can be disseminated and convert it to glucose for entry into glycolysis. Uh, and another, how we use fats. Fats are catabolized by hydrolysis to free fatty acids and glycerol. The glycerol is converted into glyceraldehyde, uh, 3-phosphate, and enter glycolysis at the end of phase 1. And, um, cock complex complex carbohydrates and fats are also assembled from monosaccharides and fatty acids respectively intermediate compounds from glycolysis and citric acid um, cycles can be diverted into fat or carbohydrate building within the cell these processes are Endergonic in that they assume ATP rather than generate it, but they also store energy and chemical bonds created. Um, there's a, a way I saw a chart that helped me see how uh, proteins and fats help proteins. Uh, into amino acids and things like fat and fatty acids all end up being acetyl-CoA and then this goes into the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle And it all correlates with like the other stuff. How any DH is formed from the Krebs cycle, and then it turns into NADH. And how ADP in the oxidative phosphorization. All ends up giving us ATP at the end.